What's up guys, welcome back to the garage. Uh, as you could probably tell from the thumbnail, uh, I bought TrickFlow heads. Uh, they're the 190cc uh, street heads that TrickFlow makes for the small block Mopars. I've been wanting to make this video for a little while. Uh, it's just been incredibly hot here in central PA. Uh, this whole last week was mid 90s. So, And I also got this going on right now. Yeah, for the white car trying to make two two junk transmissions into maybe one good transmission. So we'll see how that turns out. But uh, so I've been a little busy here, uh, but I did want to make this video showing these heads, uh, comparing them maybe a little bit to uh, some factory 360 heads and talk a little bit about my plans for what I'm going to do with them. So uh, first I wanted to say uh, I did order these from Summit in beginning of May. Uh, it said that they were back ordered till sometime in August, maybe even beginning of September, but they came in in like a month. So I didn't think that was too terrible bad, uh, only a month. Uh, so, cause if y'all would have bought the base model head, the one with like the b most basic spring, I could have had them like almost right away. But the ones I got, I opted for the upgraded, the middle of the, the line spring. They're the one 550 spring. It's a, uh, they make 430 pounds uh, pressure with the valve open at like 700 or 680 lift or something. Uh, and they are the ones with the titanium retainers. Uh, I went with them just for the fact that uh, I do, whenever I put these on something, I do plan on revving it. And I would like, you know, valve train weight is, you know, kind of important if you're going to want to be pulling some RPM. Uh, it costs a little more, but I think it'll be worth it in the long run. So we'll take a take a look at the heads. Unless you've been kind of living under a rock, you've probably seen these small block Mopar heads that TrickFlow makes. Uh, they're a pretty nice head. Uh, it was kind of like down to the Edelbrock Magnum head, which I really like them. They have a really nice chamber. They have a good port and everything. But uh, I would have had to buy Magnum rocker gear and everything and switch all that over and I just I can use the rocker arms that I have so anyway if you take notice these the exhaust port on these looks a little different than say your standard LA small block exhaust port they actually kind of I would say made them a little smaller but I think that bottom part is kind of useless anyway. Most of the flow is up towards the middle on the roof of the port. So I think that was just wasted area. That's probably why they did that. Uh, I know they increased the size of the, the rocker pedestals compared to the stock and probably even the Edelbrock. Um, obviously they're quite a bit lighter than a stock head because they can be easily moved around with one hand get a look at the CNC work it's pretty nice I'll probably initially run these as they are out of the box other than just maybe disassembling and cleaning and just checking I know they supposedly hand assemble these heads but uh, I think it would just make me feel better if they were taken apart and just checked They do have quite a bit smaller chamber than the stock head. It's a 60 cc. The CNCing on the chamber is like really, really nice. It is like you can't even hardly see like the the tooling or like the like the tool path lines. Like it's really, really smooth. Uh, and there's not really much of a ridge where it comes off the valve seat or anything. It's it's a nice chamber. Uh, the only thing that I wasn't 100% wild about is in the intake port, and it's probably hard to see here, but they do have that. Yeah, you can't even. They have that wing. I don't know if it's probably easier to see without a light, honestly. But you can see it goes up on a diagonal 
get a uh, get something to point in there. At. But it's a uh, it's over here on this side. I guess it's supposed to manipulate the airflow, maybe create swirl, boost up the flow numbers a little bit. I know I watched uh, Eric Wanginer video that he did on these heads. He said he actually called Trick Flow, and they claimed that that design made the most power. They tried the wing straight on and off to the other side, but they said that's what worked best. So I would have to say they should know because they've been making heads for, I mean, quite a while. I mean, I know they were always like, kind of like a Ford, Ford company. I know Mustang guys always used to run trick flows, but uh, I mean, I'm pretty, pretty happy with those heads. Uh, we'll see, have, have to see how they perform, but uh, initially they look really good. Uh, so that kind of brings me to my next thing. Um, pretty much planning on a 408 build and I wasn't going to put the heads on anything, any other engine until I was done with the 408. I was just in intending to put them on that. But that's going to be a while and I don't know if I can wait that long. Uh, so kind of thinking almost maybe they might go on here at least temporarily. Uh, I kind of want to see what they would do on here. Uh, I mean, this engine here runs pretty good. Uh, the car went in 1150 earlier this year. It does go 1160s like consistently. And they're just the iron J heads that I ported here at home. So I want to see if a smaller flat tappet cam and a dual plane intake, will these heads actually make an improvement on that setup? Uh, because I think, you know, they, they max out at where the max lift is, is 600,000. So, uh, quite a bit more than what this cam's making. It's only about 500 thousands. So that's kind of the plan. I don't know if I'll do that or not. I mean, it's really just time and gaskets and I got gaskets laying around. So it really wouldn't, it really wouldn't be too hard to have it together here and run it in the fall like that. So probably what I'm thinking about doing. I just wanted to also say that the 408 that I'd be planning on building is initially going to go in the yellow car, but probably eventually be going in the white car because I plan on putting a bar, a roll bar in that one. I don't really want to put a roll bar in my yellow car. And, you know, obviously the final goal is running in the tens with the car. Uh, or with a 408 with heads. Uh, so I know there's other guys on YouTube and on the internet, whatever you can read about on forums that have these heads. Obviously other people were buying them because they're like sold out all the time. Uh, off the top of my head, I knew the first person I saw have them was uh, uh, Joe at Simpson Speed Shop with a 69 Dart. He had them on his 360 at first. Then I think that had some oiling issues and he ended up building the 408. And he did have it at the quarter mile and he went in 11.1, if memory serves me. Uh, I think it was not quite the number that he was looking for, but I don't know what kind of altitude he's running. He's over there on the west side of Canada, so probably a bit higher altitude than what, what I'm gonna be at. And I know Gary's garage, he's got that 67 Barracuda uh, initially, the first engine blew up, but uh, I think he went 1080s with that and that four speed, which is pretty, that's, that's pretty good. And uh, I know Gen 2 Garage, they just got a set of trick flow heads. I don't know. They put them on that 340, which I think that's only running about what my car is now with iron heads. I think it ran uh, 1160s or high 1150s. Uh, on motor and it went in the tens with nitrous so I'd like to see tens and my buddy uh, Rob at driver his his buddy Hunter put a set did the trick flow heads and intake on a 408 magnum stroker and 
he went 11.30s on his first time out. So I'm sh I'd be shooting for 10s. Uh, that's, I mean, ideally mid 10s is kind of what I want. My buddy Tom's 408 with uh, ported Edelbrock Magnum heads. He's going 1055 and it doesn't even have the right converter in it yet. So he just got an eight inch. So he's hoping for, we're gonna get that thing stuffed in and hopefully in the fall, that'll be going low tens. I'm hoping, he's hoping. So we'll see. Uh, I wanted to take a quick minute. I wanna met, I want to weigh these things and just see what the difference is. Cause I was lifting these iron heads up and man, are they so much heavier than the these aluminums. Here, give me a second here. All right, these are a fully assembled set of 360 heads. They're just 188. Oh, now she shut off. Get that to zero. I'm gonna delay it on this way. See if I can break my scale. So we're showing about 54 pounds. Go grab the trick flow head. I mean, already obviously quite a bit lighter. We'll zero her. Okay. And we got 28.5. So not bad. About 30 pounds to 54 pounds. That's that's a good good 25 pounds lighter. So so in addition to just being lighter, obviously smaller combustion chamber. Uh, the 360 and the 340 heads are like 70, 72. They're 60. You know, you're you're losing 10 cc's. That's quite a bit jump in compression. It's probably a whole point. If I'd have to do the the math, uh, lighter, obviously better flowing intake and exhaust ports. You got the upgraded rocker pedestals. Uh, I mean, it's all pluses. So. Uh, the thing I also wanted to mention, which it shows in the instructions, and if you do any research, I mean, it's like the right of the way, the first thing you see. You do need different head bolts. There's the part number. Or head studs. Actually, I'll just show you the paper that shows the part number. Where is it at? Oh, there we go. The head bolt and the head stud kit. You do need them. Uh, apparently, like the ARP bolts for like factory iron heads and the Edelbrock heads are not long enough. I guess they don't, you know, protrude out of the bottom of the head and get enough thread, get enough threads in the block. And then also, if you're running a Magnum block, you would have to use the AR or the Harlan Sharp rocker arms that are specially made for like the Magnum oiling and you'd have to run hollow push rods and lifters that would be able to oil up through the push rods. And uh, that's pretty, you know, with me, I'm going to be able to run my regular, I got the Mancini 1.6 roller rockers. Uh, they say they're made by Harlan Sharp, but they're, I guess, branded for Mancini or whatever. So other than that, they're, I mean, they're basically just bolt on. I mean, if you got an LA, you just need the head bolts and gaskets and you're good to go. Uh, so that's about it on that. And uh, so I wouldn't mind having some, some thoughts uh, if anyone cares to chime in or give their opinion on me running these heads on my 360. Should I even do it? Are they gonna help? Is it gonna be worth my effort to put them on with a 500 lift flat tap at cam and a dual plane intake and, you know, kind of just a uh, just a 10 inch converter that's just like a 4,000 stall. Is it gonna even really, is my combination even gonna be benefited by these heads? Should I just wait to put them on the, the stroker? And then also if I put them on, what kind of gains am I gonna see? Has anyone done this before? Who out there has these trick flow heads? I'd like to, I'd definitely like to hear some opinions or some other people's experiences before I do this. Cause it's gonna be a little while, regardless if I just 
put them on my 360 or not. I gotta get this trans mess back together first and get that car back on the road. That's priority right now. And with it being as hot as it is and no AC in here, I'm just kind of slowly picking away at it. So, I don't know. So, you guys tell me, uh, should I put them on there? What are your thoughts on the trick flow heads? Are they any good? Did I mess up? Should I bought Edelbrock heads? You know, there's not a whole hell of a lot of heads out there for us Mopar guy, our small block Mopar guys. Unless you're getting something used, um, I may almost stumbled onto a set of the Indy TAs, like a used set, but I couldn't get a hold of them. And, uh, you know, everything else is basically Edelbrock, the Chinese stuff, Speedmaster, or Pro, Pro Comp, whatever, you know, Pro Max, or yeah, that's what it is, Pro Max. And then these, unless you're getting W, well, you know, the W stuff from Indy and uh, any of the old Mopar performance W stuff. And most of that doesn't work on a factory block. So it's kind of limited choices if you're looking for an aluminum head for a small block Mopar. Uh, it's pretty cool that TrickFlow actually stepped up and started making them. It'd be nice if some of the other companies would too, like, uh, I don't know, what's the other, other big one? Uh, not trick flow. No, whatever. They make Chevy stuff, so they probably are never going to make a, a Mopar head anyway. So, all right, guys. Well, I got to get in. It's hot as hell out here. So, let me know what you think of the heads, what I should do with them. Uh, and I'll catch you next time.